All right, good morning. Um, my name is Indigo, and I thought we'd just do a little bit of morning yoga. I woke up early and so thought I would teach just a fun, gentle morning yoga class. Let's just um, move our bodies, get invigorated, get the cells, blood, everything, skin, body, fascia, everything, muscles stretched and moving around, um, as well as some strengthening. And let's just have a little bit of fun. All right, thanks. So let's just take that nice deep breath in. Take a few moments here. Feel free to close your eyes. We're gonna stand up nice and tall in Tadasana. Mountain pose. Palms can face forward if you like, or palms can face in. And you close your eyes once we begin by taking those nice, long, Full deep breaths in through the nose. And as we can, we're going to exhale through the nose or mouth. Feel free to constantly be readjusting as we go through these postures and asanas this morning. Finding our breath, maybe taking a little bit of time if you like to place uh, vary where the weight is placed on your feet. I'm kind of rocking forward and back. Weights going from the toes to the heels. With my eyes closed, which adds a little extra fun for balance. And I'm just gonna kind of rock side to side. Eyes are still closed. All right, we're gonna take it in and out of this Uttakadasana or chair pose. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my legs together as one leg if you um, feel free to do that. Your feet can be slightly wider hip distance, or distance apart if you like. Or um, you can always place a block between your legs. All right, great, great, full deep breath in. We're gonna move through these. Inhale. Low abdominals are nice and engaged. Exhale, hips sink down. Keep going. Take that great big full deep breath in. Circle, circle, arms out nice and wide. Inhale. Bend the knees as much as you like. You can walk the feet out right and left if it feels good. Let's just allow the upper body to be heavy as I pin the head. Let me gently nod the head side to side. Let me gently rock the head left as you like and relax. Allow that upper body to be as relaxed as possible. We want to lengthen through the hand, the legs, the hamstrings, the calves, and we want to lengthen through the body. 
room was just nice and slow. You just slow down the thing and you've got the tub up here. Slowly roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Nice job. All right. We're going to um, come into a nice wide legged wheel drive stance. I am going to externally rotate the legs and the legs are externally rotated from the hip sockets. Knees turn out, feet turn out. Do this at what feels right, comfortable to you. Um, we don't want to tweak or, you know, make anything painful. This is, we're all going to have various um, external rotations. So, <sighs> all right, great big deep breath in. Let's come into a big X. Inhale, low abdominals are engaged. Gently encouraging that tailbone to point down. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> open up the legs. Deep breath in. as you rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Finding that breath. All right. On that next inhale, great big deep breath in. Exhale. Let's come on down. And let's just hold. Maybe if you like, gently rock side to side. Low abdominals engage. Just take a few more full breaths in, full exhales out. All right, great big deep breath in. Slowly come on up. And let's go ahead and point all 10 toes forward, keeping those legs nice and wide. So I'm doing wide legged forward fold. Great big full breath in. Exhale, low abdominals engaged. Nice job. Again, allow the hips as you can gently reach up towards the sky, top of the head, gently reaching towards the earth. Upper body super relaxing. Head is heavy. Spine is nice and long. Great big deep breath in. Come up nice and long, flat back. Good job. Nice job. Let's go ahead and for the fun of it, we're going to take it into uh, the Vajrasana 1 or Warrior 1. So I'm going to bring my right leg forward. Um, if you're near your knee, it's your left leg forward. So right leg, left leg forward, whatever works. Go ahead and follow me. That's easier. So I'll say left leg forward. All right. Uh, back leg is slightly externally rotated. We're coming into warrior one, so we do want to encourage those hips to kind of point forward, right? In warrior one arms, the warrior is reaching up for his weapon. Finding that breath, jai breathing if we can, inhaling through the nose, nice great big deep breath and opening up the diaphragm. Exhale. Okay, great big deep breath in. Feel free to simply step forward. Um, coming on to that left leg, we're gonna take it into Chukanasana, or excuse me, um, we're gonna take it into tree pose or Vakshasana. <laughs> Hands can go wherever you like for Vakshasana. Well, you wanna think tall through the spine. It's the hips of the standing leg. If you're standing on your left leg, they're gonna be encouraged. They, the hips kind of wanna pop out to the side there. So let's really kind of line that body up, line the hips underneath here, right? Good, deep breath in. Let's go ahead and take Vira Vajrasana or Warrior One with the other leg in front. So now with your left leg in front, so just take that step forward. So right toes point forward, back leg slightly externally rotating, the front knee is bent. So we are beginning to think about how we're going to bear weight on that front leg. Um, you can go into 
warrior one arms or if you prefer another to do something else with the warrior one arms go ahead i'm just bringing my hands together in the back kind of opening up the chest A deep breath in, go ahead and simply step forward, find your way into trees pose now on your right foot. And again, arms can do whatever feels good to you. I'm simply bringing my hands behind me. Uh, my hands are kind of in a prayer position behind me, but do what feels right for you. Great big deep breath, inhale, slowly coming out of that. I'm gonna take it into Bear Bajasan 2 or Warrior 2 with my right leg in front, but it would possibly be your left leg if you're marrying me. All right, so now uh, those front toes point forward. Knee is directly, so knee directly over the ankle in front. Back leg is externally rotated. Maybe the back foot is fully externally rotated, so the edge of the back foot is parallel to the mat, back of the mat, or maybe it's 180 degrees. But we are working on externally rotating that back leg, opening up the hips, low abdominal engage. And that nice, gentle gaze of drishti directly over the front, middle finger. No tension in the neck or arms. Shoulders, no tension in the shoulders. more inhale we're going to come back into warrior two on that front leg all right inhale deep breath in we're going to simply switch where our front is so maybe you know you want to switch legs i'm just going to turn around so now i'm going to switch my front so now my back leg is going to be my front leg and what was my front leg can be my back leg. All right, so now my, my left toes are pointed to my current forward. Right leg is my back leg, right leg is externally rotated. Deep breath in, finding that way into warrior two. because we are going to come down onto the floor, onto the mat, onto the earth. I want to do a few things there on the floor. So give me just one second while I readjust the camera. 